Another way for creating animation on our character or any object in a moho is using a morphing morph actions. In the morph actions that are in the action window, if you don't see that, you can come to the window and activate uh, action from here to bring it that. And then we select the layer and change the points and we store the pose, the position, the situation of that uh, character in our action. And we come to window and uh, blending morph and we can blending, uh, bring um, calling that action from default. This is the default situation of character. Then we want to make it cry, change its face mimic, and then store in action. So <clears throat> we select the you know, layer that we want to create or um, suggest you to <clears throat> always create action at the uh, top folder. If you select any layer here, the actions, the specific action for that layer comes here, appear here, and you can see them. If you want to see all the action at once, I at, I, um, <clears throat> I prefer to uh, select the root folder to see all of the action at once. So we create action number one, the names are very important. And as you can see, uh, a specific timeline for the actions come here. And in this action, we want to ex store some information. For example, we change this, selecting it and change its position from here. And as you can see, it's <clears throat> K-frame here. Don't change the K-frame. Just we want to store the uh, position and transform of these objects here. Or coming here and select it and, and bring it a little. And this is our simple action. Then we are going to the new action, new action number two, and a refresh just comes here and it's bring to the default. And then you can come here and, oops, sorry, and for this elegance, change the mouth if you want. And it's store in action number two. In action number three, we bring to the default, we change that, uh, change the position of this, for example, and higher, also that. You can change any information in your character and that's it a store in action you can double click action number two action number three two action number three as you can see we store don't change this k-frame you don't want to k-framing we are store the information in this k-frame just that don't change it frames just we store the our position in uh, actions number three going to the main line and as you can see we don't have any changes we come back to default and for changing the morph you have to come to the window and blend morphs as you can see turn off because we have to be in animation mode number one and as you can see we have action number one action number two and we can morphing in between them simple going positive uh, number or negative number uh, action number two for the mouse as you can see you can go further positive further negative of your changing okay this is regular changing and you can this is 100 percent of your changing and you can go further more positive or negative number this is our uh, action number three and as you can see you can simply blend in between them and you can come here and just for example apply it's k-frame uh, assigned there you can come to the here and you can use all of the actions at once or together nice you can play with them to understanding and then apply and as you can see we have k-framing our uh, <clears throat> blending morph here uh, as you can see with defaults it is on uh, you can reset it if you want the absolute number i love it better because it's go to the one uh, zero to exactly 100 percent 
and it is exactly that I want. It's in a relative, the relative mode, it means it's bring the current mode to the default and you can go to positive or negative number. But I like the absolute number more because it's absolutely go from zero to 100% of that movement. And I don't want to go to the relative mode that is uh, goes 100% far from our my changing i don't want that i want to exactly move the changes that i've created for example action number one action number two action number three nice as you can see with this morphs and creating the actions you can animate your character in the main timeline if you want don't forget to go to the animation number um, in timeline number one to create your morph so you can you get the idea and then you can do this idea and use it in your project so don't forget to renaming the actions before changing uh, i don't like it to rename it from here it sometimes disconnects from our work but if you want to um, edit them you can simply come double click don't change the timeline just change the points just change the morphs and as you can see these actions called morph action morph actions if you have a lot of action if you have a smart bone as you can see if you don't have any smart bone i explained it before these are all about morphs it means you can morphing between the mimic or changing your character face or body with the changing the points you can change the eye direction any different position that you want and if we come back to action number one don't forget to don't do not change the timeline just in this keyframe we store the information and then we use them in the main line that's it a window blending morph if the blending morph is turned off for you you are in a zero don't forget, you are going to the animation and everything will turn on for you. Okay, you got the idea and you can use it in your projects. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.